Before we begin the Spring Day Reaction video, we wanted to give a shout out to Umu's new favorite app called the BTS Amino app. Yup, they say it's the best app for K-pop fans ever. But what's really cool about this app is that it's basically like all the social media websites combined into one app. You can find the BTS Amino app in your app store for free for both iOS and Android phones. All you do is you search up BTS Amino app in your app store or you can check out the description of this video and just click on a link that I have posted down there. Immediately when you open up the app, your feed automatically pops up with the latest, most popular posts from the BTS community. But what's really cool about this app is that it includes all the latest fan art, news, pictures, polls, GIFs, not GIFs, and you see it's all here. And then you have chats uh, and quizzes right here in the top bar. Umu's favorite thing about the app are the quizzes, which is a new feature in the app, right? Yeah. There's a huge variety of quizzes made by the app users ranging from guess that BTS song to are you a true army? So. Yunyi and Fiona, they are going to attempt a Guess That Music Video uh, game. Are you guys ready? Yes! No. <laughs> oh, I know this one. I know this one. Run. No, 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 no. Run. no, no, no. no and save, save me. me. Save, save me. <laughs> but he's running. Because I remember, I remember reading his shirt and I was like, that is like standard, like Asian t shirt, doesn't guys, make sense in guys. English. Um, <coughs> You just mentioned. Run, 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 run. Gee, this is really nice. This app has like a voice that tells me all the right answers. <laughs> this is, we're bulletproof. Yeah? Yeah. Woo! Oh, I know this one. I know this one. Uh, it's danger. No more dream. We are, no more dream. We are bulletproof uh, too. Part two. No. No, it's no. <laughs> no! no! Oh my god, why are there so many shoes? Uh, it's not fire. Two, Is it fire? Two, one. No more. Ah! Ah! Yay, you completed yeah. the quiz! <laughs> <laughs> the result. We did it. Whoa, you oh, oh my gosh. Now go get the app and beat our high score. Now it's your turn. Go get the app and follow me. My profile, as you can see on the screen, is Umu at React to the K. She will be having a poll for the next 24 hours on which one song from the You Never Walk Alone album would you like to hear all the reactors analyze slash review on camera. And since there's a messaging system in the app, you can chat with all 10 of us through Umu. Feel free to message me on the app and ask any specific reactor any questions through me. Hope to see you on the app. We finally are with BTS's comeback. This song is called Spring Day. I know some armies are worried that, oh no, you're suddenly reacting to a comeback. You haven't seen the other BTS music videos. Well, they have seen the BTS music videos. They've seen all of HYIH and they've seen all Wing short films, Intro Boy Meets Evil and Blood, Sweat and Tears. But however, that stuff is to come out awkwardly after this video and after not today because I'm gonna try my best to keep the schedule that I already have written up so you can like, you know, see other groups too and yeah! Woo! Go! Three, two... Lift off. Uh. They're back with the same classic intro. <laughs> Big hit entertainment. Oh, I'm so sad. I have a shirt like that with pineapples. I dig. I approve. Which is head? What the? Don't be on the tracks, boy. No, no. Oh, bro, get oh. off the rails. And then he got hit by a train and died. <laughs> I love Come the like time. sound effect of him in the snow. Oh no! Bro, don't. You can see the light in his eye. That's pretty dope. That was really pretty. The shot. This is a cool shot. Ooh, oh, I'm loving that synth thing that we went oh, on. Oh yeah, that. That's um, mm -hmm. I forget what it's called, but I played one of those before. Oh fuck, he's hot. He's my fave. Fuck. How do I date everyone from BTS at the same time without being like weird? This is major. Mm -hmm. Oh, my last. Wait. Did they serve? Oh, that's a hotel. What? 
I thought that was an omelet place. That's the story it's based off of. Omelet? <laughs> so you I, have read I it! I have read this story. <laughs> I don't know. I have read this story. Burger, Burger King? King. <laughs> oh, damn. That's Whoa. gonna be a mess. That cake. Hey man, oh, oh, oh. Come I love it how they like have so much like anarchy in their videos sometimes. They'll just have like one shot that's anarchy. It's building with the extra stuff layered in. <laughs> huh. Who did the mixing? Like the little, like the voices that come from different spaces? Huh. The aesthetic of that beach and his outfit. Think about the time they'd have put into like fucking uh, the film in the snow and uh, beach, like or CG, you know. You know, we're hoping that they're cooler than that. We're hoping. We're hoping. Also, this music is pretty. Me dope. right now, they're all like. It's pretty dope. Oh, it looks like a sad carnival ride. I like the weird. Me 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 me. Oh. Yeah, that in the background is pretty cool. Uh, yeah, I am really digging these colors. They are definitely like popping as hell. They're very saturated. It's great. This colors. What was inside? Oh, whoa. Whoa. It's just making me sad. The amount of laundry he's sitting on is giving me PTSD to my room. Oh. Wow, that was really deep. It's a lot less to blame you. Oh, it's so beautiful. <laughs> what do you think of the music so far? I like it. Mm -hmm. I like is this here? Okay. Oh. Every single camera angle is super, super dope. Is it the melody you like or the instrumentation? Everything. <laughs> so pretty. Wow. There's like a bunch of subtle buildups throughout this. Mm -hmm. Oh, oh, different. Nice. <laughs> Alright. <laughs> I'm actually not sure what it's doing either. Earlier it sounded like it was going one, five, six, three. Yeah. And then it went like it was going one, five, six, three, but then I was hearing one, five, six, four. I think it's changing a little. Mm-hmm. Oh. Whoa. Oh shit. Don't get hit by a train. Especially the train that you're also on. <laughs> 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 oh, good flipping between chest and falsetto. So it's like they're all apart, but they're all like singing the same song together, and they're all like thinking of each other. That's what my room looks like right now. Oh my god, it does. Yeah, that's that's all of uh, their outfits that they use in every music video. They just pile <laughs> them up in a mound when they're done. Oh no, it's that's still four, 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 four. one. This is playful. S, S, oh, what, what is it? Uh, I'm an intensive. Oh, <laughs> subdominant. Subdominant function. Oh, yeah, he's not lonely anymore. Because it goes from four to one. I feel like there's something deep going on, but I don't get it. <laughs> the hair. Yep. Ah! I'm not even reading the lyrics. Whoops. And that swing set looks depressing. Yeah. But it's okay. Look because, because you know, hot teenage boy band coming through on a nice yeah. sunny winter day. The landscape looks like their hair. Mm -hmm. The lyrics are sad? Mm -hmm. So this is a major song with the sad lyrics. Yep. Yeah. Oh. There's some real Schubert shit going on. There's some Schubert shit going on. We're done with the lyrics, so we're just going, oh. Oh. We have drums. Oh. What? Oh, uh, ultra saturation. They're going from positive to negative. Ah, uh, the shoes hanging from the tree. Do you know what the symbol for that means? Wasn't well, that the drug thing? Um, uh, drugs. Oh, oh yeah, I do. It's a, it's a death thing, right? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Oh, that's sad. Were they, were they like moving away, or was someone moving away? Or? It kind of seemed like that, right? Yeah, like with the trains. So the story about Omalas <laughs> suffering and being oh, tortured. Okay, I know what you're talking about. Joy it's and like, happiness. It's like a utopian city where everything, nothing goes wrong. Mm -hmm. Oh, but. It's perfect because there is one person suffering for the good of the people. I love that so much. He loves the it whole so much. video was like, like there was like a feeling of reclamation to it or like reconciliation. No, I, I did. Did they that. reference Snowpiercer? Whoa! And it's about a train. 
It, it's like set after the apocalypse when the entire earth is covered with snow and it's in, inhabitable. And so there's this train that keeps a ton of people inside. Mm -hmm. And the train just keeps on going and stuff. Train to be that gone? was what was happening in the music video. Did you catch that? No. They were all in the train. Kids. All of them? Yeah. They're all going to die. Like one... die. Yeah, I didn't know that they were all. I thought they just appeared on the in the train at the end. Mm -hmm. Real it talk didn't from seem like they were Yeah, no, the they were individually on the train at different times. And then at the end, suddenly everyone showed up. Oh, see, I don't know their faces well enough. Good job. I enjoyed this one. I like the music a lot. It's like something that I would like listen to on like a regular. It's a lot different than like the typical K-pop that we've seen before where, you know, it's a lot more techno oriented. This one was a lot more like kind of rockish because you have like the drums going, you have that oh, oh, at the end, you know, mm -hmm. it was like, it was a very much like a kind of a Western like, style pop, mm -hmm, you know, with mm -hmm. the whole K-pop flair, you know. Uh -huh all over the place, which was cool. It, like, it felt very familiar. Yeah, the instrumentals, they're pretty like easy. Yeah. yeah, it was a lot It's of like they were easy, pad. but they all, but like the, the chord progressions were weird because it like yeah. kind it was of definitely changed, some... but kind of didn't. It was, there was some discrepancies. I have no idea. It was, yeah. Kevin, help us. No, no. Help. There's no five, so there's nothing to resolve. Like all the four chords Yeah, it's are... just constantly four. No, wait, okay, let me, let me show you. So the first chord is, all right, this is your whole. E flat. E flat. And then the second chord. Now this is the cool one. I mean, it's not that. It's not that out there. It goes to G, it's, right? It's G minor. Keep going. So the chord after G minor is it actually goes into C minor. No, not really. Okay, well it does. It doesn't have is an F that? in it. I heard an F. I, I don't heard think an there's F. an F. In I heard it, of the very first one had an F and an A flat. Oh, that, okay. Then it's this. Yeah. Okay. This is a really awkward angle. Yeah, 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 you're right. Ha, 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 ha. But, but the bass is not the F. So that's an A6. That's not an F minor chord. I really liked it because a lot of the times during the oh, chorus, there was the main line who was really high, but they also had a lower voice who was doing kind of like octaves. a counter line. It was really good. And there were octaves, nothing wrong, there were, but like even more than that, chord progressions are great because yeah, you expect it to go to one and, and it line. don't. I like the little drum pads and like guitar synth and stuff that they had going on. It was a little bit more minimal in comparison to the instrumentation that I'm used to hearing in mm -hmm. these videos, like mm -hmm. lots of drums or like lots of yeah. uh, lots of sampling or something going on, you know, that, that makes it kind of busy, but like this- Yeah, it was an easy listen, mm -hmm. but really good though. And, like, then, and then it got sad. <laughs> I was into, like we mentioned it during the song, like the switching between chess and Yeah, and yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh my I god, that was, really that was so good. It was like, it was like very clean. Mm -hmm. It was like you could tell that it was switching, which is a very stylistic thing with a lot of pop music, is bringing that switch out, but it wasn't like... Yeah. Uh, it wasn't cracky. Yeah, like it normally is. Here's the thing, like, like, it's not like... Uh, like Tarzan all up in the <laughs> But no, but the way he did it, the way he did it, just drive with the chord in such a way that when he... The way he drived against the chord and the way he just kind of like, oh, it was just, it was very good. I mean, I wish I'd turn on the lyrics, but to me, like, the music captured, like, a really awesome sense of, like, bittersweetness. Like, it was happy, mm -hmm. but, like, because of, like, so much of the, like, vocal delay and so much of, like, the reverb that they used, it, it was kind of, like, a very, like, daybreak feeling. It wasn't nostalgic, but it was, like, sort of triumphant or like introspective. So that was really, really nicely done on their part. I like their artistic choices because it's one thing to have the talent that they do, which they have a lot of, but the artistic choices that they make with their voice and their chords and whatnot is, is hot. Yeah, it's some hot shit. Speaking of hot, <laughs> at every member. 